<laughs> so you guys shot like 83% as a team there in the second half. At E-line, you made your first nine shots in the second half. It's, uh, it's kind of like a dream right now, the way you guys are shooting the ball. <laughs> no, it's definitely not a dream. Um, you know, we're working hard and it's paying off. Um, why don't you tell me about the end of the game? Uh, to shoot like that and still, uh, still have Drexel coming at you, what, what were the emotions like? It was a video game. It looked like 2K out there, they, how they were hitting the shots. But uh, nah, yeah, we just kept fighting. Uh, we fight through adversity, and this team is very uh, good at that. So we just kept fighting regardless of how many shots they was making. You know, just, we just fall away to the end of the game. For either uh, Dimitri or Tom, it's another big night for Ron. He's just been stringing these things together lately. Is it, in your opinion, is there anybody else playing better in this league right now than him? I mean, he's he's just a great player to have in front of us. You know, we um, whenever the ball's in his hand, we trust him, and um, we know he'll always make the right decision. And you know, it's it's uh, it's, it just makes the game a lot easier when you got someone like that at the front of the court. And for you, how much of a surprise is it to see Dimitri stepping up like he has lately? Oh, it's not a surprise at all. I've been waiting all I've been waiting all season for it. Dimitri, for you, what's kind of, what's clicked over the past few games? Um, I don't know. I just like. I was I just keep working through the you know every practice every day and believe, believing from coaches and their patience and believing from teammates and everyday support from both sides teammates and coaches and I'm just glad that I'm in position right now to help the team win the games and I really hope the best to end this season like with a, going again to the NCAA championship you know you had a lot of positive emotions after some of your baskets it's just a lot of hard work paying off at this point you know it's a basket it's just like to lift the team up, I mean, like, it's just how I am, but, you know. <laughs> Dimitri, you took uh, eight shots tonight. Ron only took nine. You played 11 minutes. It seems to be your MO that you're not afraid to come in and shoot the ball. What gives you that confidence to come in and just uh, make an impact on the offense? Well, I mean, like, it just it's stuff that I've, I have been working on with, like, Coach D and other coaches. So it's just, like, I apply things from practice on the court, so. so. Dimitri, what's your confidence level at now? It seems like you're you're ready to take the shot. Whatever, whatever we need to help the team, whatever I have to do to help the team win, it's it's fine with me. Going back to when you guys got you know kind of run out of the gym by William and Mary and UNCW, do you ever think a couple weeks later you guys been on four game win streak after three tough games on the road? No, I never doubt the team. Uh, we just gonna bounce back. <laughs> I knew we was gonna back, bounce back, and I had all the confidence in the world that we was gonna bounce back. You know, every team go through a little slide, whatever you wanna call it. But I mean, we just—I mean, like I said before, we fight through adversity. Yeah, and after all the adversity, you know, three tough games on the road, deep into conference play, and a tough game against Drexel as usual. You know, where is this team right now, confidence-wise? Um, you know, I think there's always, there's always, we're always trying to get better. But um, I really like where we're at now, and um. We're just going to keep working and keep building our confidence and our, and just try to get focused on the next game. Ron, why don't you tell me about that uh, alley play there at the end of the half? Did you, you grab that one with your left hand and then finish with your right hand that play? Yeah, I, I mean, I just tried to grab the ball. I, was, I, I wanted to dunk it, but uh, there was no way I was going to dunk that. So uh, luckily, I'm, I mean, I finished the shot. So. <coughs> for, you, for you, did that kind of harken back to your freshman year watching Devon and AJ do that? <laughs> Yeah, a little bit. AJ would have dunked that, though. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Damian Lee was going off in that final minute, but really he went like I think, 12 or 13 minutes without scoring the basket while Joey was guarding him in the second half. I mean, what can you say about Joey? He did it. Yeah, everybody, they, you know, got a chance to guard him. Uh, did it. Terrific. Uh, I let him get hot a little bit in the beginning of the first half, but besides that, Joey, when he guarded him, you know, he, he pressured him and Made him take some tough shots, and Jackson too. Jackson did a good job guarding him when he got a chance. So, you know, everybody just stepping up and, um, you know, just guarding him when they got the chance. Any other questions?